The six of wands in the tarot. The six of wands is one of the designatedly fortunate cards because the name of the card is victory and yes of course it does bring uh, triumph and success, fame, power, position, authority, worldly success, those sort of things and those are the things that the world values. So naturally it is a very in that sense desirable card to receive in the reading. So people do pay a lot of attention to that. In the Sacred India Tarot, this is the card. It is Ravana being defeated by Rama. The victory is of Rama, who imprisoned the side of good, over Ravana, who imprisoned the side of evil. The irony is that, <coughs> till this happened, Ravana was the epitome of the Six of Wands personality, successful in all terms. There was nothing in the world there was nothing in the universe that he had not achieved. He was a success in every single parameter that the world could ever conceive of. He was successful as a ruler, he was successful as a king, he was successful uh, in his relationships, he was successful in terms of how much money he made. In all aspects, he was the epitome of success. That, of course, the shadow side happened. He went to the dark side. So the sense of arrogance and entitlement that follows so strongly on such magnitude of success that is exactly captured in this card. That is exactly captured in the in the sense of what happens to a person who has everything, who has accomplished everything, who is loved, who is feared. He was successful in every sense. In the entire history of the universe, in Indian mythology, nobody has ever been as successful as Ravana. And he too gets defeated and the high point in Indian culture is the defeat of Ravana. That's when we celebrate <laughs> Diwali. <laughs> the, the greatest festival that everybody celebrates is when the most successful man the culture has ever known is defeated. So in that sense, that little poisonous corruption that lies at the heart of success is very clearly there. But fundamentally, it is a fire energy card. It is a fire tattva card, fire great fire elemental card. So that sense of swiftness, that sense of movement, that sense of things happening, accomplishing rapidly. Now, very often people mistake activity for accomplishment. That is never possible in this card. Just because you are doing busy work, it doesn't mean you are accomplishing anything. It doesn't mean you are attaining something. Though it is a very, very common mistake that since I have done so much, therefore I am successful. You could have done a lot and you could not have moved. Now this is a rather peculiar card in one sense in that uh, much spiritual growth is not indicated in this card. You know, the tarot is after all a spiritual process, but this is a very clear indication that at this particular time in life, what flows through you is a aspect of worldly fame, worldly success, worldly influence, worldly dominance, those sort of things. Now the wands are very simple cards, they are not difficult to interpret in that sense, precisely because they are fire energy. But fire is also the last point where rupa, forms are possible. After fire, things become more abstract. The wands are the last place where things are still in, in form and so this is in one sense, the pinnacle of your worldly success. After this, all the successes that come become deeper psychological, emotional and spiritual successes, not worldly successes. They are not external, material, tangible. So this is that point in which the shift happens to the higher vibration. So that is why it is regarded as a very, very significant card in the practice of tarot as a form of yoga or as a spiritual process in that you realize, okay, so this is now where I need to shift my vibration from focusing entirely and merely on worldly or on uh, external societal norms of success. I need to shift now into enduring and actual psychological and spiritual types of vibration and which are the kinds of success that actually provide value to the world and which actually last and endure. Because, you know, nobody ever wishes to end up like being Ravana as Ravana. Everybody wishes to end up being like Rama. 
so in that sense the culture is very mature and they understand that you can have too much of a certain thing and you become trapped in that in that mindset you become trapped in that and then that that success becomes its own validation it is no longer a reward for accomplishment it is a no longer a reward for sacrifice it is no longer a reward for creativity it just becomes its own validation and when that happens to a person that person comes crashing down so in that sense this card can rocket you up and it can rocket you down also so you know you can rise like a rocket and fall like a stick it's very clear then the dark side in this is so strong precisely because people will do all sorts of unethical things to attain this level of societal dominance so for that reason the dark side is very active even though it's very hard to make a fire card a dark side but you know human beings are infinitely creative they manage it but overall this is the card of victory this is the card of triumph this is the card of movement this is the card of psychological movement also the as i indicated it is not the card of spiritual movement where you actually really move rapidly in terms of your psyche in terms of what you think and how you feel and respond and react to things because it is that that sense of swiftness which is innate in the one's vibration the stave's vibration is completely there in this card it's a very very powerful and significant card when it comes up in a reading when it comes up in a life process the six of wands has very justly earned its reputation as being one of the highest vibrations in the world sarvamshi